What's up, people? This is Nerdetta, and you're listening to Nerdetta's World. Before I get into the review, make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my future content. And now, without further ado, the review for Violent Night from 2022. Directed by Norwegian filmmaker Tommy Ricola, who gave us Dead Snow, Hansel and Gretel, Witch Hunters. Violent Night is a 2022 action comedy that stars David Harbour, John Leguizamo, Cam Gigandis, and Alex Hassel. David Harbour stars as the real Santa Claus, who comes to the rescue of a wealthy family after their home is invaded by elite mercenaries hellbent on terror. As the mercenaries take the family hostage, their seemingly perfect plan could not have accounted for Santa Claus himself. A game of violence and death ensues, with Santa going on an all-out assault to save the innocent lives hanging in the balance. David Harbour brings a special kind of charm and fun to every role he plays in here. He is perfect as the irreverent, feisty Santa Claus. Although hiding behind a ton of hair, Harbour's comedic sensibilities are on full display as he infuses the film with his signature talents. Not only does Harbour enjoy the outlandish premise to the fullest, he is the heart and soul of the entire film. With his fantastic performance that really aces the darkly comedic tone of the film, in addition, John Leguizamo as Scrooge is a fun villain in his own right and he provides a night counterbalance to Harbour's chubby and mischievous claws. Also, it is refreshing to see Cam Gigandit back in the mainstream feature. Not only is Gigandit criminally underrated, he brings an intense presence to whatever character he plays, and he makes it fairly evident here as well. Make no mistake, just like its name suggests, the film is quite violent. Not only is there a comedic subtext to the violence, it has been a staple of every Ricola film in recent memory. Ricola's greatest strength has always been infusing violence with black comedy to make a story that is self-aware, fast-paced, and full of wit. Violent Night not only fits neatly into these Ricola staples, it turns out to be a surprisingly highly entertaining film in its own right. People expecting a transcendent film that questions the nature of our reality based on the good reviews might be in for a shock though, as this is nothing more than a violent action bonanza that does not relent from start to end. Where Cola takes the film's outlandish premise head on, embracing the weirdness fully as he crafts an epic that understands the silliness of its source material and turns it inside out. Filling the film with as many Santa and Christmas references as possible, where Cola makes a violent action epic out of a heartwarming holiday as Harbour's feisty iteration goes up against a band of thugs in a way that is bloody, brutal, and full of death. Eyes are gouged, bodies fly, and one by one, Santa dismantles the evil operation in the most Santa way possible. It would not be wrong to equate Violent Night as the new Die Hard, a witty, violent action epic populated by memorable characters and fantastic one-liners. Talking of one-liners, David Harbour's peculiar <laughs> comes to mind as an instant classic. The film's similarities to the Christmas-themed Die Hard are numerous, and just like Die Hard, Violent Night is sure to be embraced by audiences as a new Christmas classic. I never thought I would use the words heartwarming and violent in the same sentence, but alas, here we are. The film is exactly that. It will not only make you feel all warm and fuzzy by alluding to all the generic holiday notions that we have come to expect from any Christmas-themed film, but within this seemingly innocent take hides a bloody action seemingly meeting their match in an unconventional protagonist has been done frequently in recent memory. 2020's Nobody Comes to Mind. And Ricola takes the same tried and tested concept and puts it through a new grinder with fantastic results. In regards to technical aspects, the lighting is fantastic and so is the set design. The film looks and feels like a proper Christmas movie and for a film that takes place mostly at night, the action is both well lit and perfectly choreographed. The shootouts, the fistfights, and the hand-to-hand -hand combat, everything is staged in a way that feels both real and outlandish and this fine balance is the reason that the film has turned out really well done. 
From the narrative pacing to the cinematography and from the score to the makeup, each aspect of the production knocks it out of the park. With a runtime of 112 minutes, it is shocking that Violent Night feels so short and brisk. The narrative pacing is fantastic and there is not a single moment where the momentum of the story feels stuck in the mud of its own making. Heavy doses of both comedy and violence ensures that time passes quickly by and the audience comes out of the theater fully satisfied with the visceral experience that they just experienced. Therefore, to summarize, Tommy Ricola is known for his zany, crazy takes on existing genres and Violent Night continues this proud tradition of a highly creative director unabashedly. Violent Night is therefore a self-aware, highly entertaining action flick that is sure to be embraced by audiences everywhere on its way to becoming a surefire cult classic. We give the film 9 out of 10. Well, there you have it, the review for Violent Night. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give me a like and subscribe so you won't miss out on any future posts. This is Nerdetta signing off. Oh, 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 oh,